Hey guys, welcome back to another behind the scenes video. Today we are at the beautiful Chichester Cathedral in West Sussex, England. This cathedral is almost a thousand years old and filled with tons of charming little nooks and dramatic halls that are perfect for the dark academia inspired photo shoot we are doing today. The cathedral's architecture includes styles from both the Norman and the Gothic periods, and it is known for being the most typical English cathedral. Okay, so we are in a cathedral today, and we're doing a dark academia-inspired photo shoot. And this is my lovely model, Helena. Hi. And I'm really excited. This is my first official photo shoot in England. And yeah, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get started. I have been obsessed with all things dark and light academia this fall, so I really wanted to do a photo shoot inspired by that look. Luckily, the city I've just moved to in the UK happens to have one of the country's most beautiful churches, which suits this theme perfectly. This hallway gives me major Hogwarts vibes, which couldn't be more perfect since we actually filmed this on Halloween. For the outfit, I wanted the dark academia mood to really shine through, so we went with a school uniform inspired look that was mostly black with a white collared shirt and we're also using some old books as the main props. Look down the books. Look out the window. Only on the side can I see it a little more. This? Yeah. I think having a little something to hold and pose with like these books adds a little extra something that takes the photos to the next level. I also find it can help models become a little more comfortable with posing as they warm up. We did these photos pretty early in the afternoon when the sun was really bright. As you can see, the cathedral is quite dark on the inside, so we needed as much of that sunlight coming through those windows as possible, which created this really nice effect. Right now, we are in the cathedral's cloisters, or covered walkways. And this is probably the busiest part of the grounds as it connects everything together. So you will often see visitors or school groups walking through. Next, we ventured outside into the cathedral gardens. Here we were able to get some really nice views of the spire. The spire is incredibly tall and you can see it for miles from the surrounding countryside. It actually used to be even taller, but in 1861 during a massive fire, it collapsed and had to be rebuilt. But of course, like any sunny Sunday, there were quite a few people walking around that we kind of had to dodge. Hey, just waiting for people. Tis the life. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. 
As we went further into the cathedral's gardens, we came across the most perfect tree with bright red and orange leaves. Okay, so for the last few photos, we have this beautiful tree. I cannot believe my luck. Um, so yeah, we're gonna finish it up with these last few portraits and I'm so excited. So something that I like to do to add a little bit of bokeh is I will have my lens at a very low aperture, so it's gonna be at about 1.4. And then I hold something with lots of color right at the very edge of the lens like this. And it adds a slight little blur of color and a little bit of depth to the photo. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh, that's beautiful. Like most photographers I know, I get really excited for the leaves to change in the autumn and I've been quite impatient so to finally have some really bright colors like this on one of my photo shoots is just so exciting. I wanted to show off all these beautiful leaves that had fallen to the ground, so for the last shot, I sat my model down against the tree and put the books back in her lap to help tie these photos back into the theme of academia. This is one of my favorite photo shoots to date, and I love being able to share it with all of you. So I hope you've enjoyed this little behind the scenes look. And if you'd like to see more of the photos, I will link my Instagram in the description along with a blog post where you can see the rest of the pictures. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.